What's up? This is Brett Summers here, and I wanted to go through eight steps for getting a bigger bench press. What's been happening is I've been working with a lot of high school, college athletes right now. We're in the off season, so everybody's trying to get bigger and everybody's trying to get stronger. And I wanted to point out some of the things that you can do and make changes on your own to get your bench press bigger, just like all my athletes are doing right now. Uh, number one we're going to talk about is your warm-up reps. A lot of guys are on rack at 135 and hitting 15, 20 reps as a warm-up. Um, I see that happen all the time. Then they'll go up to maybe 185 and rock out 8 to 10 reps. And then their next set they'll do 225 and they'll do it until they're barely getting it. Then they'll try and toss on their weight and they'll get up to 275, 315 and get buried. That's wrong. What you're doing is you're pissing away all your strength on these warm-up reps that aren't going to get you anywhere. So what you need to do is start warming up like this. Hit a 5, 3, 3 warm-up. 5 sets of 135. 3 reps of maybe 185, three reps of 225, and then you go into your three working sets where you're gonna do four reps, three reps, and then one rep, okay? Now those could all change, that's not exactly the way everyone has to do it. Other rep ranges have worked for other people in the past, but this is what's working right now for some of my athletes, and you know, we'll, we'll change it here and there, but we're not wasting reps on war, that's for sure. Number two is holding the bar tight. Don't keep a sissy grip on the bar and you just kind of lose and you're just grabbing off the bar. Keep everything tight, keep your tries and your forms and everything tight, your wrist tight when you unrack the bar. Number three is keeping stiff legs, body and arms. When you lay on the bench, your legs shouldn't be bouncing around, your arms shouldn't be twisted, your lower back shouldn't be moving. Everything needs to be pinned onto the bench properly so you can have a good strong lift. Number four is keeping the bar in line with your elbows and wrists. And this is a big one I've been seeing with a lot of my younger athletes, not so much the guys who've been experienced in the gym, is that when they unrack the bar, they are bending their wrists back to here, so their wrists are bent back over their elbows, where they need to be here, where their elbows and their wrists are in line. You don't want to bend them forward either and have your wrists bent forward and try and bench here. You need to have your wrists and your elbows in line, whether you're benching back or you're benching low, you need to have your elbows in line. The next one, number five, is pinning your back. And a lot of dudes I've seen at the gym are just laying down on the bench flat. They don't have their shoulder blades bent, put into the bench. They're just kind of laying here and they're getting ready to bench. They need to pin their shoulders back here so they can be in a stronger position to get a heavier bench press and be a maybe 20 to 30 pounds stronger like a lot of my athletes. Um, number six is letting the bar settle. You'll see a lot of guys unrack the bar and they're letting the barbell move around or they're going to unrack the bar again here and just come down right away. That's not right. When you unrack the bar, you want to make sure everything's tight and you want to get it to a point where it's not moving before you go down so you can keep it in line. That's a big one. If you're not doing that right now, you're wasting a lot of your strength just trying to drop right off the, uh, the J-cups. <clears throat> Number seven is pushing your body into the bench. This kind of goes in line with pinning your back. What you want to do is make sure that when you're on the bench, you're not pushing the bar away from your body, but you're actually going to be pushing your body into the bench each rep. So you're pushing your shoulder blades into the bench, which is why a lot of guys, when they're bench pressing right, they come in and say their shoulder blades hurt and the back hurt, and that's because they're finally benching right after spending years trying to push just one of these lazy, pushing the body away. And you're losing maybe 30, 40 pounds off your bench just by not being sturdy pushing your body into the bench. So make sure you're doing that. <clears throat> Number eight, self-explanatory, explosive speed. A lot of guys are just coming down and they're going up kind of slow. You need to come down, get a good negative, and then explode up. You're not gonna give half effort on the way up. You need to go maximal effort if you're trying to gain strength. So when you're coming down, don't come up and be weak sauce and just kind of press up slow. You need to give it all you got. Keep everything tight and blow right out to the lockout point. Last but not least is a bonus I gave you. And if you look over here, we've got the all you man. You've heard that one from your spotters before. Everybody who spots you will say, hey, you know, you, you get up and you say, was it all me? You know, did you help? Yeah, they helped. If they had their hands on the bars, they helped. If they didn't have their hands anywhere near the bar, then you're fine. But if they come on over here, check this out. Taking two fingers, and I'm gonna lift up here with two fingers. Boom. That's 
45 pounds of pressure just in a little light little tap. 45 pounds. So if you're trying to bench 45 pounds more than you normally do and somebody taps you up, you need to take that weight off because you didn't get that on your own, okay? So when I used to lift at some of these crappy gyms around here, I would just let dudes get buried and let them sit there for a minute and think about this, be like, you know, I really probably shouldn't put this weight on here, but uh, you know, I went ahead and did it anyways, and now I'm gonna just look around and hope for somebody to help me out, okay? Because I know that's a lot of you guys out there getting a lot of help on your benches or hitting the half reps where you come halfway down here and you try and push it up, and you and your buddy slap fives. I used to see that going on in these gyms all the time. That ain't being strong. That's just unracking weight and holding it, okay? So if you want to be strong, make sure your spotter knows that he is not at all to touch it unless you are getting buried. And if he does touch it, you will accept the fact that you got buried and you were not strong enough. So we just went through it. Eight steps to a bigger bench press. If you're at the gym and you start doing these, do them in a week. Send me some comments on Facebook. Send me some private inbox messages if you need any more tips. Because I guarantee if you put these eight things in, in two weeks, you'll be benching maybe 30, 45 pounds more than you are right now today. Hope you check out brettsummers.com and add me on Facebook and like Top Line Training Gym on Facebook too. Show us some love. If you like this video, send me a message and let me know how it affected your bench press and maybe even send a video of you benching. Take care.